I hate to have to be the one to tell you this, but my friend, the world is constantly changing. The only thing that doesn't change is that it's always changing. That's deep. Think about that. And what that means for most of us is that just when you think you have bought the best of something, doesn't matter what it is, best new car, best new personal computer, best new phone, best new five watt handheld GMRS repeater capable walkie talkie. Just when you think you have the best, some company comes along and makes one better. Thanks a lot, Wuxin, Wuxin, Ocean, you know what I mean. So today I'm going to show you the new Ocean, Wuxin, for those that don't know how to pronounce it, Ocean, KG905, five watt handheld GMRS walkie talkie radio. Now they did send me this radio, brand new to the market, by the way, just released, just shipped last Thursday. This is the first review you're gonna find on YouTube of this radio because they sent me the first one. But they did send it to me in exchange for a review, an honest review. They know me, they know I'll say what I think. If it's a piece of shit, I'll say it. I'll point it out. Oh, I will point it out. KG905G is now shipping only from buy2wayradios.com. Affiliate links below. Because I know that your time is valuable. I'm going to do my best to keep this video brief, to the point. So I've made a list of the features of the radio. I'll go through the list. Usually I don't have a list of the features of any radio when I review it because I only tend to talk about the features that I care about. But anytime I do that, somebody always asks, well, what about this feature? What about that feature? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't give a shit about that feature, but I'll go. I understand that some of these features are important to other people. I understand that I'm not the only person out there with needs and desires and other people's needs and desires and their handheld radio equipment may be different than mine. So I'm going to read down the list, go over what the radio has, I'm going to compare the KG905, brand new and available only from buy2wayradios.com. I will compare it to the KG805, which is the previous generation of their 5-watt handheld GMRS radios. And I know, I know you're just dying, so I'm just going to show you the radio now. That is the new KG905G 5-watt handheld radio. So let's go over the features. It is a GMRS radio. It is not a ham radio. It is a GMRS part FCC part 95E compliant radio. You do need a GMRS license. You buy it from the FCC, just like you buy a fishing license. There's no test or anything. You basically pay for the privilege to use our free airwaves. Because it's a GMRS radio, it has all of the GMRS channels built in channels one through 22. It is also repeater capable, so it has eight additional channels set aside for repeater use. All the power levels and all the rules are baked into the radio, so you don't have to worry about transmitting at a higher level than any particular channel allows. You don't even have to think about it. You just push the button and talk. The radio takes care of the thinking for you. The radio comes with a one-year warranty, which is better than many of the lesser quality radios. As I mentioned, it is repeater capable. And just like the KG805G and the KG1000, you can store channels with additional repeaters with different tones. If you don't use repeaters, or you don't understand what that means, don't worry about it. If you do use repeaters, and you've run into the problem of having more than one repeater on the same frequency, but using a different tone, you know that if you have one of those lesser radios, you can't store those additional repeaters in the memory anywhere. It's a real pain in the bitch. It is IP66 rated, completely dust proof and nearly waterproof. IP66 rating says it can withstand water from powerful jets. What that means is you can take it out in the rain you don't have to worry about uh, being in a moist area. A radio with no waterproof rating could get damaged if you go out in just a, a really moist day or a real dusty area. KG905G is completely resistant to such dust and water. Don't drop it in the lake though. If you did drop it in the lake and it was only a foot or so deep and you grabbed it quickly, it would probably be okay, but it's not, don't drop it in the lake. It has the easy interface. Notice it's not covered in buttons like so many other radios are. Only a couple of buttons and a couple of knobs. I'll go over each one of those. It features the super heterodyne circuitry, which means unlike many cheaper, lesser radios, 
It doesn't have a SOC or an entire system on a chip or radio on a chip. What that means is better quality, okay? So, and that boils down to better receiving sensitivity, especially with things like the Squelch. The Squelch actually works on many of the cheaper radios, less expensive radios that I have. The Squelch is near useless. The Squelch on these, same as the KG805G and the KG1000G, the Squelch actually works and is a useful feature. New feature, two programmable side buttons right here. I'll talk about those more in a minute. You can do tone scanning. I think the KG805G also does that. A lot of radios do that. The KG905G features something new. I haven't seen it in the other radios. Uh, channel groups, so you can group the channels. By default, it groups the low power channels together, and then you can have a group of whatever repeaters and other groups that you create. What that means is you can switch through, you go to that group and then you switch through pressing the up and down channel button just through those channels. It has a stopwatch timer. All right, maybe now we're reaching. I cannot imagine any reason why I would need a stopwatch a timer on my radio when I'm out for buying or hiking. If you know of a reason how a stopwatch timer would come in handy on a radio, leave a comment below and let me know. But the feature is there. You can use it if you want to. You don't have to. Don't feel forced to use the stopwatch timer in the radio. It supports Vox, uh, VOX, uh, so that when you talk, it will automatically transmit for you so you don't have to push the button. That's helpful if you're wearing a, a earpiece or a, and a mouthpiece and you're doing something that takes both hands, like driving. That's what that was, driving. You can just talk and the radio will automatically transmit for you. And the bad news. It is not yet Chirp compatible. This is normal with a new radio. The boys at Chirp need time to go in and bang the little keys on their little keyboard computer machines to make it to make new radios compatible with Chirp. It will be soon, someday. In the meantime, Wuxin, pronounced Ocean, does have their own software that you can use to connect and program the radio. It only runs on Windows, so if you use a Mac, you're out of luck unless you want to set up a VM and go through all that hassle. The interface is so easy that really, if you can't figure out how to program this thing for a repeater or to change the channel name that displays, because that's really about all you'd need to do. If you can't figure that out after reading the words in the manual, you probably shouldn't be allowed to be using the radio. It's, it's really easy. Yes, the programming software does make programming easier, but honestly, geez, if you can't do it through something as simple as this, when you get your new, ah, it still has that new radio smell. In the box, you will receive an owner's manual, streamlined. Because this product is so new, the owner's manuals have not yet been printed, so you can download it. Future shipments will have a paper manual included. The owner's manual is 51 or 52 pages long. It goes over every feature of the radio, every menu option, everything. It's got some troubleshooting tips. It is written in perfect English, no Chinglish. You'll get the little software to install on your Windows computing machine for programming, or you can download it from their website. You will receive this elegant, some would say sexy, belt clip. You will receive an even more elegant and sexy hand strap, wrist strap for putting on the radio. You will receive a small baggie with two screws for affixing said belt clip to the radio. You will receive a charger. This charger is the fancier type with three pins. One, uh, one of those pins is a temperature sensor. So it's got a uh, sensor so the battery doesn't overheat. That generally means the battery will last longer. It won't catch on fire, hopefully. You will receive a Power adapter, and it's a power adapter, you know what it looks like. You will receive a pre-tuned GMRS antenna, and as I mentioned, why you're here, the KG905 radio. Five watt GMRS repeater capable walkie talkie. This is the 805, this is the new 905. You can see that the 905 is slightly larger. The screen is slightly larger, but the interface is basically the same. KG905G costs about $110, available only from buy2wayradios.com. Affiliate links below. It's got the standard SMA male 
connector and you they do the little you know what they do the screen is slightly larger and slightly higher resolution than the kg 905 focus you piece of shit there we go a little bit easier to read and it does have a light when you talk or turn it on you can you can program how long that light stays on one of the programmable features. Very simple interface. Power on and off and volume knob, channel changing knob, push to talk, two programmable buttons, and the plug where you would plug in a microphone or a programming cable. Standard uh, K-type plug, and there's this little screw. You gotta unscrew that. That's part of the uh, weather proofing and dust proofing. Can't just pop it off. Standard K-type plug. The radio feels very rugged. It's heavy. It has a, a good heft. It's a couple ounces heavier than the KG805, and that's probably due to the larger battery. The battery is 2,600 milliamp hours. That's double the size of the KG805G. So in theory, all else being equal, and I don't know if it is, but it's going to last twice as long. The knobs, and somebody was asking about this, and I had never really thought about it, but it is very helpful. The knobs are very tight. The knobs are almost hard to turn. And that's a good thing because when you're out adventuring, hiking, running up and down the trail, four buying, uh, sitting in your vehicle, your truck or whatever, you don't want to accidentally be turning the volume all the way down or all the way up, particularly all the way down so that you can't hear anything, or you don't want to be accidentally changing the channel. Although you can lock the radio so that you don't accidentally change the channel, the volume you can't lock. And that knob is really tight. I think that has to do with the weatherproofing but that makes it harder to accidentally change the volume. The range on this, thats I know that's what you care about, it is basically exactly the same as the KG805G. In my new poor conditions test, meaning the worst possible conditions that you can imagine, trees, houses, small hills, the range is just slightly over one mile. Again, that's worst possible tests. Because the transmitting guts are basically the same as the KG805G, then we know that even though I didn't specifically test it radio to radio in a long distance good conditions test, the KG805G, I was able to talk 26 miles to another GMRS radio, a, a mobile radio. So we know that the range is at least that good on the KG905G. I tested the power output. It is right on what it's supposed to be, whatever half a watt on the low channels and right at 4.9 and 5.0 and 5.01 on the high power channels. So as I mentioned, these buttons are programmable on the side. By default, they're used to go through those channel groups. I mentioned that it supports channel grouping. It's not really a useful feature to me, but I guess if you were at an event or something and talking to a lot of different people, a lot of different ways that, that could be helpful. So I programmed mine to turn on Log. and off the screen. Log. Log. She's reminding me that, she, that it's locked. There's also a feature to automatically lock the radio, which I did in the menu so that after 15 seconds it locks so I can't accidentally change the channel to unlock it. I just Log. press and hold the exit button for a few seconds to unlock it. So I programmed mine to turn the screen off and on. And I disabled the second button because I had no use for it, but you can program it to do several different things. It's got the regular uh, menu button, channel up and down and exit button as well. And those you use obviously to go up and down the channels. You use those in programming. When you're programming a channel name, for example, I customize the channel of GMRS channel 16. I customize the name because that's our not a Rubicon channel, GMRS channel 16. And you use the up and down button to uh, when you're changing the letters to go back and forth. So as I was about to say, let's give it a test run. I've got two repeaters near me. Actually, they're not near me. They're pretty far away. Uh, one is on top of Santiago Peak, uh, 29.5. I just say it's 30 miles away. Let's see if we can hit that. Repeater check. So I can hit the Santiago repeater. 30 miles away, no problem. Now let's try the Palomar Mountain repeater, 69 miles away. If this radio can hit that repeater 69 miles away, you know you can talk to your friend 100 yards away when you're out playing paintball or off-roading. Repeater check. Sixty-nine miles. The question is, 
Should you upgrade your KG 805G or a 905G? KG 905G is only $25 more. If you already have a KG 805G or similar good, decent radio, unless you need the extra waterproofness or one of the features that I mentioned, the KG 805G, affiliate link below, is a great radio. I would, I don't know if I'd spend the extra money to upgrade it unless you need the uh, extra rugged, you know, the, the weatherproofing, the waterproofing, or the larger battery. The larger battery might be a good reason to upgrade. If you're looking to buy a new radio and it comes down to a choice between the KG 805G and the KG 905G, is it worth the extra 25 bucks? Well, you get that double size battery. That might make it worth it to you. And you get the weatherproof, but basically, I'm gonna say just waterproof. It's don't drop it in a lake. I already said that, but it's easier for me to say you get it a waterproof radio, fully dustproof radio and waterproof that the KG805 does not offer. So for only 25 bucks more, if you're in the market, haven't yet bought your GMRS radio, I would say KG905G is the radio to get. If all you care about is a cheaper radio, Get an 805G or some little knockoff piece of junk. Now, I've only had this radio for a day and a half. I'm still learning how to use it, but it's simple. But I, I'm getting familiar with it, and this will be my primary radio now. So I'm familiar with it and know how it works. If you have questions about the radio, leave a comment below. I will try to answer them about these radios or GMRS in general. I'll do my best. If I'm not able to answer them, there's always some know-it-all on YouTube that will answer for me probably get it wrong so take that with a bag of salt thank you for watching we hope to see you on the track